time to celebrate. Dead hate I won. It's time to elevate. Dead hate I won. It's all my real ones that been riding with me and riding for me. This all out when you hear me. It's all sound. Check the success. This is proof, living proof. They can't nothing stop us. No matter what obstacle coming our way, we cannot be stopped. God is great and the paper straight. God is great and his album straight. It's called Dead Hate I Won. We bombing on it. But anyway, Junkie Joe called me a doofus and. And I'm the the biggest goof that New York has ever produced. And he's entitled to his opinion. That, that's cool. No problem. Now, here's my opinion, Junkie Joe. And these are all based on facts. You think I'm a doofus? Well, I think you know you're a junkie. <laughs> I say this because I know someone who sold you cocaine sniffing your nose, sir. <laughs> I'm not going to accuse you of freebasing. Even though there's a picture that looked like you was freebasing, sir. I'm not going to accuse you of that. Okay, junkie? Man, nah, junkies have opinions on me. Niggas that rob bottle bottle point cab jobs have opinions on me. Niggas that got their butt played with by men consensually have opinions on me. It's okay, fell rappers. No problem. Junkie Joe called me a doofus. Okay, Junkie Joe. Well, that's cool. But, yeah, we need, a, we need that. His... his Here's with my opinion on you. My opinion is based on fact. Uh, my opinion is you're a rest haven for hoes. Mm. This is a fact. Mm. I've had meaningless sex with women that you love. Mm. It's it's like you just uh, found uh, Fab's old phone in the garbage and just started saying side joke. You found Fab's old phone and you went out looking for those women. You feel me? Yeah, that's a fact. But I'm I'm a doofus. That's cool. Um, Juggy Joe, he called me a doofus. Uh, that's your opinion. My opinion is you might be half a mook. You say a lot of questionable things, yeah. right? I would I, I don't say those things, but it's cool. It's my opinion. My opinion is based on facts. Yours isn't, sir. Show me some facts about yours. Another one, uh, Junky Joe, you call me a doof doofus. I think that's your doofus. I think you're in a bestiality. You literally jerk off dogs. Oh no! <laughs> My son thinks. <laughs> These are facts. This is de facto show. This is not <clears throat> no bullshit. This is de facto show. The Triad Podcast. Our our facts are based on opinions. Opinions based on fact. Junkie Joe, you call me a doofus. Well, I think it's a fact that you're a failed rapper. Def Jam budget. Pump, pump, do we do we still up. do we still count Pump It Up? Pump It Up is a good song. Pump, pump. For the time I never jammed it. I know it's like when you had a basketball game sitting there and there, pumping on you playing when you only playing when you only playing. You fell rapper. These are what these niggas are. You, you your your success was on the the mixtape scene to people who in, enjoy that, but to me this is like. An NBA player that's on the bench going to Rucker Park and dropping 40. That's not an accomplishment, sir. This is like an NBA player that's supposed to be a star player getting smashed to the D League and going in and, and j winning MVP. That's not an accomplishment, sir. You guys are ringers. Yeah. You niggas have big label budgets. I got my own budgets out of my own pocket, self made and self paid. That's cool. Okay. Junkie Joe, you come, and these are opinions. You're a fellow rapper. It's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> now, these are opinions based on facts. You call me a doofus. I have another one. I think you're soft. I think you're an emotional uh, chump. I think you're a chump because I've seen a, a tax stone, rat stone, punk ass nigga punk you. Mm -hmm. You had none of this energy for him. On camera. On camera. Right there. Like, at least on camera, and you're supposed to be on go. Like, what you trying to play me? At? What? What were you scared? Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna match that energy. But you know who you would match that energy with, Junkie Joe. And this is this is a factual opinion. Again, I'm a doofus. You would match that energy with women. Mm -hmm. Junkie Joe, you call me a doofus, but it's a fact that you're a woman beater. Do we have to name them? Do I have to no. do a DJ Vlad? No, let's leave and, the victims out of it. We'll leave the victims? Yeah. We're not going to victim shame because it's, oh, I don't believe in beating on women. But if I need to do the DJ Vlad and, and uh, send these women money, 
for an interview, we can do that, sir. We can we can call your victims. You feel me? Like, so I'm a doofus, but he was a punk ass nigga, and he beat up bitches. He beat up women. There's a lot of those type of niggas. Ladies watching, niggas know the niggas that be mad, tough with the girls, but they want to they want to be punks with men. And kids too, yo. Don't, <coughs> oh, and for, kids too. Yeah, don't forget about the time he chased them kids away from his house. This nigga's self, man. <laughs> but I'm a doofus. <laughs> Hold on, man. Hold on, sir. <laughs> Hold on, sir. This is for you, sir. It's for you and every nigga like you. Hold on, sir. Hold on. On this episode of Federal Tax, <sighs> we're giving you dick eating niggas Franks. <laughs> Can you see me the camera? A frank for you and a frank in your mouth. Hey, you need a few. We gotta put no sauce on it. You'll get it when you bite down. Here's a frank for you. This is a frank stand. Hold on, Junkie Joe. I'm not done with you. It's the frank. It's the frank in your mouth edition. This one is for DJ Vladimir. You need to go to Ukraine and go fight for your country, pussy. <laughs> For Hassan Campbell, he can't eat a hot dog. It should have fall right out his, his ass. His prank go the other way. Should fall right out his ass. That nigga eat a hot dog. Wee! Give me a sabret. The Nathans are too small. <laughs> Fucking fuck. Listen, mice in a hole. They even serve hot dogs in whatever prison you was at, sir. Who knows? These bum ass niggas. Anyway, back to back to my man, Junkie Joe. Junkie Joe, you niggas didn't start me, man. This is what I need you to do. Since y'all are hip hop connoisseurs, I need y'all to have an unbiased opinion about this new Dead Hate I One album that's coming out. You feel me? Y'all can say, well, I personally don't like Troy Ev, but his album is whack. Or I personally don't like Troy Ev, but his album is hot. If y'all just gonna re- be reporting shit, don't just report no. No bad shit or no, you know what I'm saying? No, come on, let's do it like that. Anyway, I'm a doofus, according to Junkie Joe. This is his opinion. Well, my opinion, wearing this because these niggas is getting franks, giving out franks to these niggas. My opinion, based on facts, is he's a junkie. I know the person that sold him cocaine, sniffing his nose. He's a rest haven for hoes. I've had meaningless sex with women that he loves, multiple. He's a, uh, Half a mook, he says questionable things. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no he disrespect to, to the real mooks. Yeah, no disrespect to them. Um, he loves enjoys jerking off dogs. It's called bestiality, right? Animal sex. That's wild. You know what I'm saying? He's a fell rapper. This is a fact. Can't name a Joe Budden album or anything. Yeah, yeah no, major no. budget. Wasn't he on Def Jam Vendetta? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. He's a self emotional <laughs> chump. He's always heartbroken. You know. Over and heartbroken and I seen you cry on TV, dog. You do, yeah, I seen that. Uh, what what was it? What, what the fuck was that? What drugs is that to make you cry? I don't know. And you, I seen you get punked by another nigga, a, a pussy nigga. You got punked by him. I seen that. You got punked by a nigga that I shot at. This is a fact. Okay, it goes some more. You're a woman beater, mm. Junkie Joe. I'm a doofus, but you're a woman beater. This is a fact. You know what's crazy about that? Because he did say that part of the reason why he, you know, he don't fuck with you like that is because you're insensitive to mental health issues. Um, you're insensitive to, to you know, certain thing people, things that people went through. But domestic violence is definitely a big thing to ignore and, you know, you know, diminish the, you know, the effects that it has on women. So if he is, you know, putting his hands on women then, I mean, you should look in the mirror before you point the finger because in the words a lot of, of women who don't fuck with domestic violence. In the words of Hovran, when you're pointing at people, you better only point with one hand because you got to keep one on that skeleton closet. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And uh, Junkie Joe, you didn't think this too. You had an opinion on me. Man, at first you started, listen, man, it's not hard to do the right thing. Just go with your heart. Yeah, some deep down inside, you know what the right thing is to do, but you let your personal feelings get in the way. You feel what I'm saying? And um, 
another one for you since I'm a doofus. You're a fucking trick, sir. <laughs> you fucking trick in a rest haven for hoes. I think the guy asking, well, yeah, oh, I think the same thing. Well, are you going to run into Troy Abson? What? Where would I see him at? What? What? Tell you, oh, you won't see me at. You won't see me at Lamborghini. <laughs> Never seen you there, sir. <laughs> now, you niggas got to stand up and talk and ring your mouth every day. I could do nothing right now, and I'm still going to be rich. This is a fact, okay? What does GIGPS mean to me? I mean, God is getting the paper straight. You feel me? Like, I'm super blessed. I'm blessed with good health, good energy that I give and receive. And that just comes from me really being a genuinely good person. It's like the love outweighs any negativity that may come my way. And that's how I'm able to go through so much and come out stronger every time. You feel me? I pray a lot, not just only for myself, but for others. And with that in mind, I design these clothes. Really thinking about peace and comfortability because that's really two of the main things that I personally want out of life. I'm here to motivate, spread love, and destroy hate. I'm Troy Ave. God is great and the paper's straight. <laughs>